But still now, John, the Harper series, we're talking about our favourite programmes that we've done. This mm. one, obviously, really excites me, is dear to me, because Night Oaks has been one of my favourite paintings ever since I first discovered it. In fact, Hopper's work in general. But uh, I think this particular one is because I think I've had a drink in that bar. And if I haven't, I definitely want to have a drink in that bar. But this collection is... Um, the lovely thing about Hopper is you, you can look at Hopper and then you form your own story from it. Yeah. And whether it's the petrol pumps or yeah. whatever one it is, the, 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 everybody can form a different story about what it's yes. about. Yeah. Yes. I think that's absolutely crucial. The, um, the whole idea of a... I don't want to sound like a pompous art historian, but the whole idea of narrative painting, in other words, a painting that told you a story, mm -hmm. was, was absolutely yesterday's papers almost by the turn of the last century. Nobody wanted paintings that actually told you a story like the pre-Raphaelites and yeah. you know or the faithful to the last there's there's the centurion and there's the volcano erupting or he's you know he's been told to stay at his post but it's, nobody wanted that um, anymore and so everybody moved away from narrative painting and then suddenly along came Hopper and he kind of turned that right around so he doesn't tell you the story you mm -hmm. tell the story to the painting what are these people doing there? Why is he all by himself? Who is that guy and who's yeah. she? Has, has he just picked her up? Is that his wife, mistress? Um, they're both smoking, but why him? Why is he... So, yeah. why, why are all the lights... It's, it's just like one shot, one, yeah. one frame of a film. Of a movie. What was the frame before it? What's the one after it? And that's, that's what intriguing about the work. And nobody's quite clear about whether Hopper influenced the kind of film noir yeah. thing or whether the film noir thing influenced Hopper because they were both going on at the same time. If, if you want to, to create a mood in a painting, say for instance you take Monet, kind of a misty morning on the sail or something, um, there's no need to say this is a misty morning on the sail. It creates its own mood. You can, you can look at the colours and, and kind of re-experience what he did. But this is more than that. This, these are human beings telling a story of some kind and the way they're interacting with each other. But if you could actually explain that painting and the and the reason it's so compelling. I think it was spoiled. You'd 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 end up disagreeing. You say Yeah. No no John, that's that's not right. It's 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 that. It's something else. I mean there are interesting things like for instance curved glass. It is interesting, isn't it, that curved glass was only possible um, the year before that was made and, and, and the painting was painting so they featured it on cars with curved windscreens here and there's a whole lot of different things of uh, Philly's cigars um, up the top there um, which is basically a kind of red herring um, but nevertheless he was very interested in those those kind of icons of capitalism if you like and he was interested in branding he was interested in um, well, the petrol station, the mobile gas, and he, you know, that kind of flying yeah. red horse, anything like that, of, of, of the way we interact with, for me, for instance, I mean, just getting cutting to the chase, it is about how the human being interacts with the system of, you know, the girl in the in the movie theater is is it part of the entertainment system this is part of the retail system and how people but there again you've got the girl set on the bed looking out the window yes in strong sunlight yes, yeah. what is she doing who is yeah. she waiting for what's going to happen next why is she there that's like a still from a hitchcock movie the answer to to any question about you know what are these paintings um all about really is that um there isn't an answer the first time i came across edward hopper we were doing a a television program for Sky TV, mm -hmm. um, and they took us to Dungeness, which is uh, somewhere right on the coast, but it is the only desert landscape in the UK. It's actually there's no trees. It's classified as a desert in this country. Um, and I had three students, and we were we were looking at Edward Hopper, 
and they took us to that landscape because it's and it's famous for Derek Jarman, the the um, oh yes yeah the yeah. film director who who I think died there, had a house there anyway, um, and a nuclear power station. But it's bleak in a strange kind of way, so it was very hopperish with boats kind of upturned, and I got really stuck into Hopper at that point, um, and uh, that's where I first came across him, and realized in fact that that a, 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 you're, you're talking about the technique here of hopper i'm sorry i'm losing the the thread but in terms of creating um a representational painting um you've got all the all the problems of you know hands and faces and shadows and, and contours and all this kind of stuff to deal with um but nevertheless they are subsidiary to creating the mood the, that he created so yeah. it's a bit of a killer really it's not just oh wow look at that isn't that a brilliant picture of, of, a, of a woman yeah. eating a sandwich it's impressionistic though in a way it's not it photorealistic no. it's still painterly mm. it is but you're right the main thing is the image itself the power mm. of the image as simple as some of them are simple images but so powerful yeah. and you want to know more about that's that's what gets me every time he leaves you longing to know what's happening next and next time you come to the painting Glenn, you would you would see it slightly differently you would think well what about him what's he doing you know um and what what are those two talking about and you wouldn't worry too much about him anymore um and then you kind of look at look at the open window I put a flower pot on one just there just for the <laughs> hell of it I just thought well I don't think there is one but I, oh there we are there's a flower pot I put a flower pot up there and I just thought well you know why not maybe why are all the windows open too you know he was painting this in 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 the winter uh, he he finished it in January so why it looks like it's the summer though doesn't it yeah um but there again but I'm also a big fan, I'm a huge Hitchcock fan, mm. of which there's references to and from. Mm. And also I love the old old 50s detective stories like uh, um, The Big Sleep and The Long Goodbye. Um, I forgot the detective who was in this. Uh, Philip Marlowe. Um, Philip Marlowe, yeah. yeah which that Bogart was... played him once. And now in my, in my painting that I, did, that I did of that one with the girl in the cinema, I've like got Bogey smoking, smoking a cigarette. In, on the left hand side of the painting yeah. in the Maltese Falcon oh the Maltese Falcon it's a still yeah, from yeah. the Maltese Falcon with Sydney Green Street and yeah. Peter Laurie just a fabulous film and I thought I've got to have that in there because yeah, there's an alpine yeah. landscape in the hopper I thought you know sorry Edward but you know excuse me <laughs> I'm just going to do that um, yeah, you can change the, the film yes, that's going on in the yes. cinema John any time you like and the date and everything absolutely you no know. problem at all because we're not copying no. we're not trying to pass this off it's as close as it is, it's still your interpretation. Of yes, it, it is. Which is which is yeah. wonderful. At the end of the day, it's a John Myatt. Whether I mean, John Myatt's painting Hopper or John Myatt's painting Monet or John Myatt's painting Van Gogh or anybody else, to me, they're a John Myatt. At the end of the day, I make a lot of changes, but with a with a bit of luck, you never notice any of them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the girl in the in the restaurant with the with the reflections in the in the window behind her. There's a whole lot of stuff I've left out on the. On the on the right hand side of the painting because I didn't like it, um, you know. Uh, I thought no, I can actually this this is nicer. Um, in the in the girl in the cinema, um, the, the, I rearranged the seats in the front, and you think why am I doing this? You know, you shouldn't be doing this, but you think no, this is this is my. I'm standing on his shoulders. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a tribute band. I'm I'm doing you know I'm doing my take on 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 him the same as other people do on the Beatles and. So I, it's I, a cover version. It's a cover version. A Thank very, you. very good cover version. Thank you for that. Yeah. It's a cover version. So, Joan, do, do, do you think Hopper's work is more relevant today uh, after the world's been in lockdown? Do you think it's, it's brought it to the fore or is it just we're looking at it like that? I, I think for, for, for people who don't know Hopper, then yes. I, I, and I've just met him, as it, if you like. Then suddenly there is something about... Um, about loneliness and, and what we've all been through that, that, that resonates from these paintings but to anybody who already knows Hopper um, then I think you know uh, we've already been there and we've kind of got that already yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, we we that's what's wonderful about him uh, possibly 
um, a few more people will will um, end up appreciating him when uh, we've finished this task and got them out on the gallery wall. I mean, I, I read some of the art books about him. I've got one, and frankly, God, it is so tedious. Mm. The stuff that they said. I mean, you have to shut up and just use normal words that people can understand. But um, there are some sensible commentators out there who um, who do the best they can. But you know, we've we've done this right now for the last uh, three quarters of an hour, and all we've got to say at the end of it is. Whatever you think is in there is in there. Whatever I think is in there is in there. And let's leave it at that. And I am definitely going to get you.